Hey, game developer. My name is Eric and I'm from Games from Hyper. And today I'm so happy to show you uh, the menu system that I've been working on. It's fully based on common UI, so it's very adaptable to any uh, uh, platform. So it's gone to Xbox, PlayStation, a uh, keyboard mouse. It's able to adapt in real time. It's very modular, uh, so it's easy to adapt also on your style, but also on components. Um, and I've tried my best to make it as complete as possible. So let's check it out and let me know what you think of it because I really like it. But if you have ways to improve, always let me know. So here we are in the main menu. This is a startup screen which shows uh, press a button to start in this case, Ender. But we're also able to switch to the gamepad. Uh, let's press the keyboard uh, key now and the enter. And we see this screen, you see some cool animation sliding in. And we have options, credits, uh, quitting and play. But if I uh, hit my uh, gamepad, it will automatically switch to the uh, gamepad options, uh, like the A and the B. So if we open up the gamepad, uh, the settings with the top bar, and the top bar we are able to switch with these buttons right here. And now you see the controls of the uh, gamepad but if I hit my mouse again it will automatically switch to my keyboard and my keyboard um, we are able to rebind our keys so let's say this move forward let's uh, do that in eight for now just for fun so if I want to switch a tab it will say hey um, did you know something has changed so uh, uh, do you want to confirm do you want to apply these settings or do you want to cancel them so let's apply them and now it is saved we can also reset it to the defaults right here or i can press the r on my uh, keyboard and i will confirm my choice and now it's set back to w again if i um, go into my video settings because i think these are one of the most important settings that you can have in the menu system um, First of all, I have resolution settings, uh, full screen, windowed full screen, windowed, but also uh, some examples, um, which I actually got from the Lyra example project of Epic Games uh, to have some colorblind modes. Um, if I hit my gamepad, it will switch uh, uh, these buttons like so, and we can toggle between all of these settings. Uh, another very cool thing is, I think, is the auto set quality. Um, we, it's a button. It say, hey, it will automatically detect hardware settings. Um, if you want to do, uh, please be aware that it will take a minute or so. And um, for now, I'm not doing it because I don't want to wait. Uh, we have the settings uh, like so. And we can switch it with the gamepad like so. Um, if I hit this one again and say, hey, do you want to apply the changes? And I don't want to. Um, some localization, it's very limited. It's only set up so you can uh, set up your own localization very easily. So yes, it is coupled, uh, but I didn't enter any Dutch uh, words. Uh, uh, if you want to add something, you can simply add a new language and uh, add the words, uh, localize them, and it's done. Um, for the audio, um, do I have set up a different uh, uh, submixes? Uh, so the overall is obviously a master controller, uh, but the music is only the music. Uh, the sound effects is only all sound effects. The dialogue text is not coupled right now because there aren't any dialogue texts, um, and we are able to switch sound settings. <laughs> Besides this, uh, there are controls, and the controls are uh, sensitivity controls. Uh, we're also able to invert it, and it's using the enhanced input system. I've got a component for the uh, inputs of the character, just the basics, and there it will adapt the sensitivity and also uh, the axis uh, based on the settings right here. I have this DLSS uh, tab, uh, which is currently not enabled. Um, it's just there for if you want to do it, um, um, you can enable it uh, yourself. Um, I already tested it, it works perfectly. 
but I'm not able to include the DLSS plugins in this project, that the, uh, 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 which is for sale. So therefore, I just skip the tab there, so you can choose whatever you want to do, delete it or, uh, or uh, implement it. Let's also take a look at the credits quickly. This is just showing a list which is scrolling through it. Um, uh, it's very basic. Now let's go to the play. So the play is showing these uh, cool tiles, which I uh, find quite nicely. Um, I want to say uh, loading, saving, it's not included in the system. And there's also no lobby system connected. It's just, if you want to have a multiplayer game, something like that, you probably implement Steam SDK or Epic Online Services. Um, you can connect that to buttons like this. Um, now the new game will resume, will just both do the same. It will open a new level. A cool thing is, um, you see the character there on the right. Um, if I'm exiting that menu, the character is sitting down. But when I'm entering this menu, the character will stand up. So when I open up uh, a level, it will fade in. And now I am that specific character. And I am walking around in this cave. Cool, right? Um, Another thing about this system is I included a advanced inventory system uh, because that is also fully uh, UI based and therefore you are able to navigate through this easily because this is an in-game menu. And now we are also able to switch uh, between these steps right here. Uh, you can complement this with, and now it says shows inventory, but you probably we want to showing attributes, uh, questing, map or whatever, um, it's very easy to add. Um, here we have the system menu. These buttons are, uh, are, the, are not implemented. However, we are able to adjust the settings uh, while playing in game. Um, and obviously, let's go back to the main menu again. So we are here again in the startup menu. And now we are here again. Let me know what you think of this because I'm quite excited about this. Um, a good thing to mention is if you have the system and you migrate it off of my current uh, uh, projects like inventory system, building system, etc., it will automatically all be gamepad compatible. So that means that the inventory system, the radio menus of the building system, uh, combat system like bow and arrow, everything will automatically be gamepad compatible. And that is also a very uh, core and cool feature of the system. Let's also take a look at some of the code. Um, in this UI folder, uh, that's the core of this, uh, uh, this plugin. In the main menu folder, that one consists of the elements for everything for the main menu. So, uh, especially the settings, there are a lot of different widgets that are being reused all the time. Um, there's also the play screen, which shows the buttons, uh, uh, the large ones, the credit screen, the home screen, the in-game menus uh, uh, screens, and the menus of the and the character that's sitting up and down, the blueprints in it, and obviously uh, the safe uh, settings. And the safe settings are for saving user settings for video settings. Just like um, if your quality is set on medium, then you want to store it. And if you want to reset to the default, it's loading out what the default values are. Um, in general, the UI, it is a complex system. It's a large system. There are a lot of elements and it consists out of a lot of different widgets. Um, to make sure it is as adaptable as possible and also as easy as possible to use, uh, Overall, in all my UI elements, I try to make everything as generic as possible. So this is my generic elements folder. And generic elements folders are things that you can be reuse all the times and they are not made for one specific purpose. Uh, the most logical example is a button. And a button is being reused a lot of times during a UI. So you want to have one master button that you are able to change. Um, Think of um, this button. Let's check at the settings. Um, you could set it. Uh, this is not a rectangle. It is uh, the square one. Or it is an icon. 
instead of text and if it is an icon which icon to use uh, maybe you want to have different colors uh, uh, to set up uh, maybe you want to uh, override the uh, size manually you can do that or you could say i'm not one to uh, manually override it things like that and these generic elements are uh, made uh, uh, for nearly every aspect so also for confirm dialogues and um, think of uh, let's let's take a look at this one. Uh, if you create a conform dialog, um, it will ask, okay, what is the text, uh, the title of the uh, of this confirm dialog, but also uh, what is the body text, and also how do we name the confirm button and the cancel button? Obviously, it has default values like confirm or cancel, but maybe you want to rename it dynamically to. Um, okay, let's do it or quit the game, things like that. You're able to do that because everything is set up generically as possible. Besides that, there are a lot of specific elements. And specific elements are things that are a one-time only implementation. Uh, think of an inventory system. And the inventory system has an inventory UI slot. And that inventory UI slot is being reused in all the inventory slots. Uh, However, it still has specific implementations. So if we have this one, we can open it up and see it says a generic implementation, but it is for only the inventory system. But in this, we are uh, uh, can reuse a couple of things like buttons or uh, things like that. But most of the times, everything in the specific folder is for specific elements. And it's being uh, segmented into each different uh, components that you can have. And because of this, the uh, system is so large and so complex, uh, I have made a, a documentation about it and I try to be as clear as possible um, and especially try to uh, talk about things like, okay, how are the core principles of the system uh, being set up? Especially because this helps you to understand more about the core fundamentals of the system. And I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, always feel free to reach out if you... Uh, uh, if you just want to chat or uh, have questions about it. Hi. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.